Hello everybody, Desert here, and I'm going to be covering that today on how we can make custom clothing and accessories within Ready Player Me for banter or any other social site or VR site or any site at all that allows Ready Player Me services. So I'm going to quickly just showcase the accessories we can build. We can do Headwear, hair, facewear, and glasses. The ones I'm going to be focusing on, on are the head and facewear options. Because the hair, really don't need money because Ready Player Me is updating them constantly. And glasses are glasses. So I'm going to just look on Sketchfab quickly for something to put on a character's face and head. And we're just going to look at face mask try and find like something good but i'm also going to load up the ready player me documentation and try it here we're on the welcome page but we want to go down here and go to creator or avatars and right here we can see our options we have full body xr half body and things but we need to go and find the option for avatar creator. We have all that option, language picker, all that. You can get it all that. Just fine. Avatar URLs. They're fine. Short codes. It's fine. Update manage assets. So right here, asset manager. So this is just the assets themselves, but we can create our custom assets right here. Here we have all the options we need. Tops, bottom shoes, hairstyle, headwear, facewear, glasses, hero, and modeling guidelines. So quickly, I'm going to click headwear. So right here, this documentation explains on how to get it. So this is a text version, how to get headwear. So simply, we, let's go, or I'm just going to use these. I'm not going to use Sketchfab, I'm going to use the ones they provide. Here, I'm going to get the hijab and face wear for a lower mask, and I'm going to get, uh, build my own. So right here, I'm going to download both quick. And I'm going to go over to here, and we're going to just quickly export these files as they are. So these will come helpful in future, but we have the hijab. So right here, we have the FBX, GLB, the texture. We're going to go to working files and open this. We're just going to quickly open this. And we now have the hijab or hijab. I don't know. Okay. So here we have the hijab. This is set to headwear, as we can see, and this already exists. So I actually do need to Go with Sketchfab, and we're gonna find like a simple mask or something for a character to wear. So right here, that looks like a good mask. How big are you? Two. And I'm gonna go actually here. I'm gonna go to headwear, facewear, quickly facewear, and we can go into the technical requirements. We have the names and the triangle count. 2,000 triangles. So, we're going to just quickly just go here and write low poly. Shouldn't be too much, but should still work. There's a complete head. Nothing there? Okay, let's go... Let's just get over back into here and just find a quick one. Let's go and scroll through quick. There's a filter. Not fast on that. She's low enough. Nope. And a quick look. See if we can find like a mask. Possibly good to sit on her head. Thing, but let's just find a simple mask. Uh, 
Right, we can put that as a headwear accessory. It's a 22, so no, actually. Well, we just want to find something roughly around the mark. So, we can just use ready for me to go and quickly find something. Um, let's just go and find some horns quick. Horns. And let's just find the little poly ones. Find one for download. The B. Banana. So there. Got some horns for the head. Gonna get you as an FBX. That's fine. You're gonna be our headwear accessory. And then. Face wear. Just stuff it on the face. I'm doing eye mask. Eye mask. Oh, we could just do an entire helmet. But you're low enough. I'm gonna build. He make you. Yep, you're low enough. I'm just gonna add a texture to you, and you're fine. Okay, download you, FBX. Have our models. Oop, and horns. So, both. So, I'm gonna go here quick. We now have both our models, what we want to use. I'm gonna just quickly remove the headwear. And I'm just going to quickly showcase, we have the head here. So, properly, I can go and import the FBX, the file type I've downloaded, your pants, but we want horns. That's the uh, things I want to add to the character's head. That's headwear. So, we're going to scale you down a little bit more. Position you roughly where it would look cool. I can edit it a little bit if needed. By just going here, pressing L on here, and just gonna rotate you a bit. And just make you fit. And then just position you roughly where you need to be. I'll also quickly turn this on. So now I can properly position this where I would roughly would like it. Or it would be there. I'm just going to quickly just delete the other side. Vertices. And I'm just going to quickly just mirror you on the other side at least. So we have that quick thing, and I'm going to put you on the center of that entirely. Even though the one horn's a little bit further away, it's fine. I can pull it out a little bit more. So here, grab you, pull you well. There we go. The two little horns. So simply. We're gonna make sure that this has a base texture. Just delete that because it's not needed. Base texture. Gonna make some simple red ones as they were before. And we're just gonna weight paint you quick. Let me just prop the actual apply that. So now we have that. We need to set up the head position. So we're gonna parent you up. With this, empty groups. And we're going to pose you up. So we're going to go here, here, parent, empty group. I don't need to loop. Oh, 
I can just go here, wait, paint. That's the one I want. I'm going to make sure normal lights is turned on. And tap. Make sure everything's painted red. And we're going to just name you what you should be. So right here we have head parts. We're going to go down to headwear. Tap. Make sure that these are all named headwear with no dots. And you're fine. We're going to quickly just export you as a GRB. Well, that's actually will save you where I would actually find you. We'll be here. And I'm just going to call you horns. Now, we get back to it here. Write some horns. You are headwear. But you're neutral. You don't need to be based on agenda. So right here, document horns. We've come across a error. Transforms. Simple error. Boop, boop. Control A. All transforms. Export here. Export again. Go here. Find the file. And just replace the old file. Boop, boop. Fixed. Simple horns. There. Go here. Get the, the picture. There, there. Done. Simply, simple, a few simple horns. We can also do the same with the face wear with the same model. So simply, we can get the head. We're going to delete head wear for a minute. We're going to import the next FBX. So what is simply the Necco mask? Oh, there's a few more files to you, I'm guessing. Uh, Neko mask. Source. Yes, there it was. Now boom. Why are you giving me... Un oh, there we are. Okay. Gonna read it, press that. And boom. Neko mask. Here. We're gonna just put you... Let's get you down a little bit. And we're just gonna put you roughly... Where the eyes would be. To make you just look like there's a mask on the face. Just a simple mask. But if I recall correctly, there's no proper texture. Does this have a texture? Yes, you have a texture. What is good? But I'm going to texture this myself quick. We're going to go give you a base texture quick. We're just going to base you black for now. So simply have a black. We're going to texture paint a few areas here for us. We're going to give it a pink. Just going to give a pink there. And now we're going to grab some features. So... L, 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 there, go over here, L and L. We have all these, so that means I'm going to go go to UV, select all, I'm going to drag you in a little bit so you're out my way, scale this down, And we're going to make you simple pink. So here, we just got to do the same. Parent you to here. Parent, empty groups down here. I'm going to quickly weight paint you. Also to the head. Make sure all of it's painted properly. So now we have that. We're going to name you... Face wear, face wear, face wear, export, GLB, and I'm just going to go mask. Just create a quick mask, and right here we can go Neko sleep mask. Here, I'm going to just set it to face wear, neutral because there's no need for it, and mask. So far, 
no issues. Simply, no issues. So, I'm just going to right click that when an image looks good. And here. So that's two quick accessories there. So that's head face wear. We can do the same with other options like clothes. So I know Remarcus, good lad, has actually given us resources on how to build custom clothing. But we have each of these little pieces of body here, what we can use. And we can use an AI texture. So let's go. I want a. Techware about fish. We just describe the texture, techware, boom. Take up to two minutes. And this is built in to Ready Player Me itself. But if you want dip more cloves and all that, it takes a little bit longer to think. But don't know how that's a fish, but we have that option. So hopefully, so hopefully people have actually learned something. We've made two quick accessories for our characters to wear. If people need more, I would like to hear more in the comment section below on oh you want custom back uh, top pieces you want custom bottom pieces right now those cannot be done because ready player me removed them a while ago that's why you saw some tentacle rule options there but hopefully everyone has learned something and i'll see everybody again very soon bye